not more than 40 miles away from Los Angeles, in a valley hidden by a beautiful but unforgiving landscape, is the Red Rock Canyon Mine. Forgotten for years and rediscovered throughout history, our visit was the third recorded since 1932. It's a hard 15 miles round trip, including 34 river crossings which swell in the spring. We're at the USGS marker on top of Red Rock Mountain. We just finished our grueling ascent from Piano Box Prospect up to the saddle and up to this point. What we have left is this long ridge line We'll follow a stream to the base of a fir tree valley where we'll get a perfect view of the notch where the Red Rock Mine, possibly the Los Padres Mine, is located. There's a summit register up here in a little can. We've signed it, as Hugh Blanchard did. And Kevin Dixon, who visited this place in 2006, which we know he confirmed was able to discover the mine, which is basically over that ridge right over there. That's exactly where it is. The entrance of the mine. to the Red Rock Canyon Mine, possibly the Los Padres Mine. Now this is one, there are supposed to be three. Over time, the other two were covered up with rocks. And... Anyway, it's been a thrill getting here. There's all kinds of neat stuff in here. It looks at one point like somebody had a generator and they actually ran power cable through the end of the mine. So, found this and uh, saw a pickaxe. Hugh Blanchard made several attempts to find the Red Rock Canyon Mine, which he also theorized was the Lost Padres Mine. The existence of the Lost Padres Mine is debated by scholars, but the myth retold by Virginia Weiss is a popular legend in Angeles National Forest. After making four different attempts, he was defeated by box canyons, fading light, and poison oak. He never made it. It was with his help, and that of Kevin Dixon's, that we were able to rediscover the Red Rock Canyon Mine. I'm David Swift. Thanks for watching. <laughs>